And now, a minute from our conservation partner, the Bonefish and Tarpon Trust. Hi, my name's Justin Lewis, and I'm the Bahamas Initiative Manager for Bonefish and Tarpon Trust. Bonefish and Tarpon Trust was started over 20 years ago by a group of concerned anglers that noticed a significant decline in bonefish in the Keys. Since that time, we've learned a great deal more about bonefish, especially about their life cycles and factors that have led to their decline elsewhere. So one of the fascinating things Bonefish Tarpon Trust and our collaborators have started to figure out is the connectivity of bonefish populations between Florida, the Bahamas, and the wider Caribbean. So rather than being individual fisheries in each region, it's more of one big connected fishery. All the research that BTT has done over the years has also helped us figure out what the economic impact of the bonefish fishery is to Florida, to the Bahamas, Belize, Mexico, and the wider Caribbean. It's also helped us advocate for protecting vital bonefish habitat. For example, in the Bahamas, we recently helped get six new national parks put in place purely for the protection of bonefish in their habitats. BTT's tag recapture program in the Bahamas has found that bonefish have really small home ranges. We also know they'll travel long distances to spawn. When they travel long distances to spawn, they're heading to these places called pre-spawning aggregation sites. These are areas that are deeper protected bays that have easy access to the open ocean drop-off and also easy access to the flats. When the fish congregate in these bays at dusk, they become really active. They'll start porpoising and gulping air. Once the sun sets, they're gonna head offshore en masse into thousands of feet of water, but they'll spawn in the, in the top 200 feet of the water column. And they spawn by a process called broadcast spawning. That's where multiple females will break off from the school, fall by um, several males. Once spawning occurs, the adults head back to their home range and the fertilized eggs are left to the currents. Within a day or two, the eggs hatch into larval bonefish that we call leptocephalus. They're clear, eel-like looking larvae. They're gonna be out offshore, mixed in with other plankton for an average of 52 days. After the 52 days, they're gonna move inshore into shallow backwater bays where they'll actually metamorphose from that clear, eel-like larvae into a juvenile bonefish. To learn more and to make your voice heard, visit BTT.org.